It's a great little trick. I'll do this side. Space bar, R key to reactivate it and do it again. Now you can see all of them are right nice and even there. Okay. So now I want to leave a little space between this and the top. So the next thing for us to do, we could take this, Command C, Command V, and move this and rotate it 90 degrees. Now all we have to do is position it. Like so. That looks pretty good there. Let's bring it back. Make it touch. And we'll do this, grab this last polygon, hit the W key. You'll notice this is all lightweight, straightforward, low poly modeling. Okay, so let's go ahead and Command C, Command V, and W that, and bring it down. These, and we can do one more. Now our next side is going to be really easy because all we got to do is shift select all these. Command C, Command V, W. That'll move us all the way over like that. Uh, let's move zoom in here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. There we go. Now the only thing left to do is, you guessed it, here and here. And then we do our top around. So the best thing we can do is do our Command V, Command C, test again. Let's rotate this around 90 degrees. Bring this into place. And we'll scale it down. Make sure it fits well. Okay. Are we touching pretty good there? Yes, we are. Let's bring it back a little bit, a little bit too far in. There we go. Now it's a matter of copy and pasting like before. Okay, and you guessed it, it gets even easier as we go. Command C, Command V, and let's W this, right over we go. And those ends are a little long, so let's select the end polygons. This is what you get for not doing your math correctly and you're just going by ah. Uh. So last one here. Okay, there we go. We have our little box set up. Now we can go and add some detail by putting some cross braces here. Actually, I'm going to do that real fast. I'm just going to put some around the <clears throat> around the bottom like this. And we can do that by just copying and pasting what we've already made. Like so. Now we need to go in, put our X's from here to here, from this corner to this corner. But I might leave that for you guys. Let's go ahead and put our top on there, our handrails. 
by selecting our box again. Let's do that. Like this. And there it is right there. Let's bring it up, put it into position. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, as you notice, than the others. Okay. Make it like that. Looks like a pretty good handle on a little board there. So let's go ahead and copy and paste it and bring it over to the other side. Okay. As you'll notice, we're a little off because of this wood here but that's no problem we'll just hit the W key and we'll bring it up okay now we got some handrails there in the front now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select around through here like this mesh edit loop slice count of one symmetry 50 percent well let's make it free mode free and I'm gonna come in here and click and I'm gonna bring this down like this right to the edge of that post as you can see right here I'm pretty pretty close with it there so I spar drop the tool now what that's going to allow me to do is hit the X key and it's going to allow me to extrude this out. Like so. Now let's select these two polygons. Bring them out. Now we're going to need to do the same thing. Take this polygon, bring it up. And the same thing with this one. Now you can see what we're working at here. I'm going to do another loop slice right around this guy and put this loop right there like that and I'm gonna extrude him right across like that and let's go in here. Fix this one by raising it. Okay, we just got one side to do. Which, you know, we could copy this here. And bring it over if we wanted. But that's not what I'm going to do. What we're going to do is make us some more loop slices. So I'll loop slice here. Put it about right there. And then we're going to loop slice this guy. Put it about in the same spot. And I can select this one. And these two polygons like that. And bridge them. So now, let's go ahead and bring out this side here to make it a little longer. Like that. And we'll do
we'll do the same with this back edge. Okay, now we got our beach house. Now all we need to do is make our chair 